other, um, the I Have This Friend musical. And it was my first musical, and doing the musical, I'm used to just doing acting, and being in a musical for the first time kind of worried me a little bit because I'm not used to singing or dancing on stage, let alone doing both at the same time. So it was quite a bit of a challenge. There were a lot of different styles of music, and, uh, and you got to sing one of the most unusual styles, yes. which was the bluegrass. Yes. And uh, not many people know this, but just by looking at me, not many people know that I do like country music. I do like country music. I, I grew up uh, very differently from country music, but I do like country music. But bluegrass is a <laughs> still a little bit of a faster pace than that. So uh, not alone uh, doing that was a little bit of a challenge, as it was. So do you think that was the most challenging thing about presenting the play? Was that learning the dance and the song? Learning the song, yes. Learning the song was a, a bit of a challenge. And the dances, since I'm not really... Uh, I don't have that great of a rhythm. Uh, it, it was it came to a big challenge. So it was like, <laughs> what do you think was the most rewarding part of this experience? The most rewarding part was when uh, we actually did get to talk to some of the students after the show. We actually did get to interact with some of the students, and they would ask us, you know, um, do you guys do any other performances other than theater, and, uh, other than uh, musicals? And we said, yeah, this, you know, this isn't our first time doing any other shows, but people would ask us if we had ever done any other uh, shows, and yeah. And, uh, but this is the actual first time that I've actually done a show, a musical, based on reality. So I had never done that before, so. Okay, so do you think that there was a message presented to uh, these uh, high school age students that will benefit them in their everyday life? Yes, it's a, it's a very good message, it's a powerful message, this message needs to be taken very seriously because there are a lot of kids that don't want to talk to anybody, they, they feel like they, how should I say, they, they hide, they hide from it all and they think that their friends will reject them, they think that their parents won't take them seriously, but that's the thing that they need to get away from, they need to get away from all that, they need to talk to somebody that has experience in this, they need to go talk to somebody who can give them some help. If you're in an abusive relationship, you need to get out of it. Get out of it. Not, don't say he's doing that just because he loves me. If he was loving you, he wouldn't be doing this. That's the thing that people don't understand. You, you can't say I love you and then either physically or mentally abuse somebody. It doesn't work that way. Sounds like you got the message <laughs> clear. Yeah. So. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you.